Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss how to separate real and imaginary part of a given complex valued function. So we are familiar with that if you have any complex number z then we can express in this way x plus i y where x is real part of that complex number and y is imaginary part of that complex number. Similarly, when we have any complex valued function, we denote it as f of z w is equal to f of z. So that complex valued function also can be expressed in the same way u of x y plus i v of x y where u is real part of that complex valued function and v is imaginary part of that complex valued function getting. So if you have any function definitely we can find its real part and imaginary part it means u and v. Let us discuss one example. Suppose we have a function. So let me write consider f of z is equal to I am taking very simple example z square plus 2z plus 3. Suppose this function we have and we have to find its real part as well as imaginary part. It means we have to find its u and v. Let us replace z by x plus i y first. Everywhere we have to replace z by x plus i y plus 2 x plus i y plus 3. So now we have replaced z by its Cartesian form that is x plus i y. Let us expand this bracket a plus b bracket square formula square of first 2 into first into second plus square of second plus here we can solve the bracket 2x plus 2iy plus 3. Okay, so the value of i square is minus 1. So let us write x square plus 2ixy minus y square 2x 2iy here plus 3. So let us collect real part that means terms without i. So we get real part is x square minus y square here. 2x is also there and 3 is also there plus imaginary part that means terms with i. So 1, 2, only two terms are there with, with i. So let us take i common. So then we will have 2xy plus 2i. So this is an imaginary part and this is real part. So let me write here. Therefore, real part of this complex valued function is we denote it by u. So u of xy is x square minus y square plus 2x plus 3 and imaginary part. Imaginary part we denote it by v or v of xy which is the multiple of i 2xy plus 2i. So in this way we, when we have any complex valued function definitely we can find its real part and imaginary part. Let us discuss one more example just make a screenshot of it. So let us consider second example. We have a function f of z is equal to 1 by z. So now just guess what we do first. First we replace z by its Cartesian form x plus i y 1 upon x plus i y. So see we have to separate that real and imaginary part terms with i and terms without i. So for that I am going to multiply numerator and denominator by its complex conjugate. So 1 upon x plus i y into its complex conjugate is x minus i y x minus i y. So let us take product 1 into this one you will have x minus i y in denominator x plus i y and x minus i y. See basically we have that formula so let me write here is a plus b a minus b that means a square minus b square. So that formula we can use here getting so this is equal to x minus i y. So x square minus i square y square getting so but the value of i square is minus 1. So we'll have minus minus plus let us write here okay. So value of i square is minus 1. So this is equal to x minus i y x square minus minus plus y square. So we have to separate real and imaginary parts. So that's why I'm going to divide separately. So x upon denominator, right? 
plus actually in the standard form we have a plus so that's why i'm taking that minus with y upon x square plus y square so in this way we divided numerator separately by this denominator getting so this is a first term without i so that is a real part of a complex valued function and this is with i so that will be the imaginary part so let me write here so therefore real part of the given complex valued function f of z we denoted by u of x y which is x upon x square plus y square and imaginary part we denoted by v of x y terms with i so multiple of i is this minus y upon x square plus y square so this is a imaginary part so in this way we can separate real and imaginary part of any given complex valued function 